What is happening, Internet? How's it going? So, this is Monster Hunter Rise, brought to you by our friends over at Capcom. The game comes out tonight at midnight, I believe, or tomorrow morning. And we will be doing a giveaway for this game for the end of the month. The end of the Ooh. month of April, because it's going to take a while. Awesome. But uh, if you guys want to, like, uh, join the giveaway, all you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber, or subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends, and in the comments section below, tell us uh, your favorite uh, Monster Hunter game and why it's your favorite. And, uh, yeah. So, there'll be Monster Hunter streams going on uh, for the next, like, couple weeks, because I'm a big Monster Hunter fan. And uh, this is one of the only new releases coming out for, like, the next three weeks. So, as I said before, once Minish Cap is over, Monster Hunter will be streamed every day. Uh, both as either a new episode or a community stream, like hunting monsters together. But expect yep. a lot of Monster Hunter content uh, going forward, so. Awesome, and yeah, thanks again to Capcom for providing a copy of this game so we can uh, share it with you guys. Actually, we got two, so we can do two player. Um, I'm not sure what the other one is yet. I have okay. to look at what the code is, because Tony was telling me it has to do with um, something else. So, okay. oh, let's see. How do well, I want my hunter? I'm sorry for throwing you off, but you decided we're gonna give away an extra code, so it'll be yep. good. in April sometime. Near the end of April. Um, and just so you guys know, um, I was just checking out the our members Discord, so that was me actually. So I know that like anyone could probably go there and say they're me, but that was actually me. So. <laughs> Mm, this dude old. Mm, cool, I got to uh, talk to you guys, hanging out on uh, Discord, and Vic, and all of you guys, so. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for being coming members and hanging out on our Discord. I'm actually super hungry because I made a plate of food for Luke for Beef Stroganoff, but then I was hanging out on the Discord so I didn't really eat anything so I can't wait to eat something like after the stream. Hmm. Eyelids. Do they have like an eye patch? No. Nah, I think his nose is good. are really low to your like your eyes. I think it's fine. Looks like No. Well, that's a really, really, like, harsh tan line between your neck and your face. Wow, he does Whoa. not sleep at all. <laughs> kind of like that. That looks like your pillow's been punching your, you it, in the does. face for a month. Vertical position. It looks like you're sleeping on rocks. Vertical. Luke, why are you making your guy look so weird? Why not? He looks fine. Making him look like a superhero, maybe. Oh wow, no. There's oh, a green lantern, there he goes. It's the 26th of March here in Asia and the game is still not available. It's killing me! This is Chad. I, I like the fact that he's kind of tired. Kimmy says, can I play my copy yet? Crying face. To what I said earlier, Mr. Beast is starting a network. Yeah, yeah, we heard about that, Galen. Thank you. Yeah, we heard about that. I mean... I mean... Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm... the net. I mean, we're always currently part of a network, so I'm always worried about talking to other networks. People could be watching. You don't, do not know who else might be watching. But, um, I mean, who knows? Maybe sometime in the future we could check out Mr. Beast Network. As long as it's not one of those networks where they own all the, uh, the content. Yeah, those networks are the worst. There's ne there are some, I mean, not like, you guys aren't, uh, in the pit of despair, which is YouTube, but, uh, those of you guys who do work on YouTube, Good day. Uh, 
Hey. Hey. I like number nine. Great. I'll take it. Let's take it easy. Hello. Most this will be easy. Nothing can destroy him. Hello. Hi. Amazing. Hello. This is great. Yo yo yo. Wow. Hey. Actually, number two and nine are my favorites. Okay. Why the? T <laughs> you wanna go? Magnificent! Yo! Oh, you yeah. <laughs> bring it! Ready to roll! I like that one for some reason. I need no! Oh, you yeah. bring it! Ready to roll! I need no! Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know if the facial mask works, so. Oh no! I messed him up. Wow. Looks like a Spaniard guy. Okay, have a great night, uh, Branson. Expect another sponsored stream in October, Galen? Nani? Uh, there we go. Hey, bad feeling. How's it going? Great to see you. Create a character <laughs> with these settings. Yes. Hey, said Y. Hi, Tiger X and Mr. Big Nate. Hi, Dylan. Hey, Iron. Hello, um, Cammy. Hello, Dylan and uh, Brandon. Have a great night, Brandon. Hello, Earl the Turtle and uh, uh, another Brandon in the chat, Brandon Trammell. Great to see you guys. Old old man K-Wing or old timey? Old time K-Wing. Maybe old man. No, you know what? Go. Hey, Ruben Good. How are you doing today? Papa Sefi says said. No. He's old K-Wing. Ooh, I can make my cat too? Neat. Can I make something look like Panthro? Oh wow, that looks like a real dog. Oh wow. Ooh, I like the all white one. That matches with my white hair. I like that. Can I change its... K-Wing Roth. K-Wing Roth. I can't change its eyes. Oh, you're though. gonna have white hair and a... And he's gonna have, like... So you're gonna be Snow K-Wing? I can't... I can't see his eyes. Snow Puppy. Okay. K-Wing Roth. Whoa! Whoa. Gosh, his eyes. Why are eyes mm, closed? I kill for what? Oh, it says give him a mullet. I, I kind of did give him a mullet. We can go with that. We're gonna change his eye color because nothing says creepy like green name, eyes. Name the dog Simon. Says, Simon says Leroy. Do you guys sell iPhone cases? We do. On your store, we do, Galen. We do. Well, I'm excited to see about another sponsored stream. Uh, um. we'll see. <laughs> Battle Scar says Jay. We'll see, Galen. It's very. Oh, that's right. Galen did. Um. Oh my gosh. What was the sponsor stream Galen did before? Was it Minecraft? I, don't I can't know. remember. Darn it. I can probably look back and look at it again. I know we had a sponsor stream from Galen a while ago. Mm. Oh, thank you, Simons, for putting the merch link. I want K Wing's old school mug to go along with the other one. Oh my gosh. So we're calling him Simons? Um, yeah. Or you could just name it Simon, either one. Simon the puppy. Simon Pure? <laughs> Why? Ah, 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 Why would ah. it say, what's Simon Pure? I don't know, that's what it is. Why is Simon pure? Yeah. It's weird. It works. It was oh, Minecraft, Galen cute. said. Yeah. Make a little cat. I'm gonna make my Palamute and my Palico look like pets. Awesome, Chad. Oh my gosh. You play oh. with the kitties. Mm, you can make your cat look like however you want, Luke. That's not it. You're trying to make the fur gray, aren't you? Maybe. Change his coat. I'm trying to change his little coat. <laughs> All right. Too bad you can't give it a little marking oh. like Zelda has. Oh, so cute. Oh, you had one that looked like a Russian blue there. Uh, this one? 
Yeah. Yeah. That looks kind of like a Russian blue. Of course, Zelda's way darker than that. They don't really. Oh, have that's pretty thing. good for that. It's kind of just as... blue. Yeah, but Russian blues actually do have a blue tint to their fur. You can probably change it a little bit. Turn down the saturation. There you go. I don't know. That's cute. Kawaii. Simon says, now watch Luke be kinder to the cat than the dog. Yeah, probably. Oh, Fernando says, I turned in to see Simon's honored with the name of the dog. Go. <laughs> yup. Chad says, Luke, try lowering the saturation and contrast. I think we lowered the saturation a little bit. Of course it might have- Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, okay. It's kind of... Well, it's really dark. It's super dark. So... I can't really see it. It's too Maybe dark. the contrast... Don't do the contrast so much, but if you make it a little... The fur a little darker in general, it would look cute. Oh, yeah, I, 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 don't, tried I don't know how to make the sat. I'm trying to change the saturation. Yeah, I try it. I can't. Fine. Oh, there we go. Is that mm. not right? No, no. The saturation is down there, sweetheart. Oh. Okay. This. Okay. Wait. Wait. Can you go. How do I move the? I can't. It's not letting me move the saturation. I don't know how to do it. Guys, I don't know how to do it. I'm sorry. I, I can't do it. I don't know how to do it. I tried doing it and I just made it worse. My kitty! I made it look like a snow cat now instead of a Russian blue. It's supposed to be dark. Like it's anymore. supposed to look like dark gray. She has really. You guys. Zelda is a Russian blue with gray fur, but she has very dark gray. It's almost black. Her fur is like very dark gray. Super dark gray. Mm. No, not too much blue. Kind of dark. I don't this know. This is not dark working. Why does it have a yellow? I don't know. Oh, because it's not... Oh, there we go. Okay, her whiskers somehow ended up being yellow. What? The whiskers ended up being yellow. <sighs> Maybe we should go back to the default cat and start over. We somehow made the whiskers yellow. Me. Oh. Oh. It's not bad. Kind of looks like Zelda, but I don't pretty know. good. I don't like the pattern though. Oh, oh, that's cute, but oh, there, there! that looks like oh Zelda. Gosh! That's pretty close. That looks like her. She's got a little white paw. Yeah, that's pretty close. Cute. Okay. <laughs> Support type. Um, healer. <laughs> Because Zelda's gonna be a healer cat. Healer cat. Voice. Oh my gosh! That's so close. Okay. All settings. My gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Um, what color is Zelda's eyes? Does she have green eyes? She has greenish, greenish eyes. Those are ears. Yep, Simon was honored to be the dog. Little puppy. Oh, cute. Um, Luke, you're changing one eye at a time. Yeah, they only let you do one eye at a oh. time. Cute. Yeah, she kind of has like yellowish green eyes, but that's okay. What does yellowish green look like? Like light green. Like lighter green. Okay, 
am obsessing too much about this. It's Ew. fine. Okay. What about her whiskers? Like, why are her whiskers yellow? That's the only thing bothering me. You can't change her whiskers. All right, this is fine then. Yeah, it says eyes. Ooh, we can change the tail. Tail type. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. They don't even let you have a long tail. No. They don't let you have a long tail. I don't really know what kind of tail she has. A tail like that. It's fine. Clothing. What kind of clothes should Zelda wear? Pink. Nah. Uh, what is a Zelda color? What color is Zelda like? Well, mm, I think if it was Princess Zelda, she would wear peach or gold, maybe. Or yellow. Yellow looks kind of cool. Matches her whiskers for whatever reason. Because her whiskers look terrible. I really think there's a way to change her whiskers, but oh well. I like that. Okay. I don't know if I like the color blue. Mm. Can you change the red band on it? Or is no. White looks cute. What about navy, blue, like dark blue? Oh no, that doesn't look good. Like that? I don't know. Oh, that looks kind of cute. Yep. Would I have rather have a hug or a cookie? A hug would be nice as long as it's not. Oh, pink to represent me. Oh, thanks. There we go. No data. This is fine. Mm. Oh, the cat's all covered up. You can't see her. Went through all that work, and you can't even see what Zelda looks like. No, bad feeling. We hope you'll stay. Mm. Here we go. You want something in this game with your name? Okay. There we are. Nice cutscenes. Hello, friend. Simon Pure. Oh. Dear. Looks like we've been caught in the act, Minoto. Quite disappointing, Hinoa. I really don't see how anyone could have noticed us. It was a perfect display of stealth. That's, That's why, why we expect, expect great things of you. you. You're always, always razor sharp. Well then, I guess we still have a lot of training left to do. Uh, mm. What? You don't want us sneaking in? Oh, come on! This is Kimura! We're all practically family here. Besides, Elder Fugin is looking for you. So go get ready. Can't keep him waiting. Oh. I'm not wearing clothes. <laughs> Give them in some pants. Whoa, you look very pale. <laughs> wow. Zelda looks so cute! Shall we go? Wow, we're also a silent protagonist. Of that's course we are. A, that's us? I thought we didn't have any pants. Well, we put on pants. Oh, you look less pale for some reason. Maybe because you're wearing clothes. Monster Hunter Rise! The latest game in the Monster Hunter series. Brought to you by Capcom! Yeah. Special thanks to Capcom for providing a copy of this game. So we can share it with all of you guys. Yep. Oh, cute. Look at all the little places to buy things. That's a big fish. And they cats. I love that this is Asian themed. Yep. Fernando says, wait till Simon takes down a Rathalos with his mighty paw slap. <laughs> 
우와 Thank you. Hi there. I just got an important letter. It looks like we've got a rampage on our hands. Uh, oh no. So it's finally beginning. Hmm. It's been 50 years since the last calamity. But I remember like it was yesterday. Flashback! The Rampage. A huge pack of monsters in a giant stampede. They attack the village in a frenzied rage. Nobody knows why this happens, but it came close to wiping out our village last time. I think it's time. We paid a visit to the stronghold. We have to protect the village. There's nothing to worry about, Elder Fugen. All of us, everyone in Kimura, we've all been training for this moment for our entire lives. Hmm. Hinoa, we should start preparations right away. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Now that's what I like to hear. <laughs> hmm. Is that guy a Klingon? <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> He's got like the Klingon mark. Now, old K-Wing. Rampage and all aside, I've got news for you. Why did you name yourself old? Look at me! Great job. That's what happens if the pandemic lasts like another 10 years. That's what I'll look like. Got a message from you from the guild this morning. Says that you are now a certified hunter. You're really a living now, Squirt. Well, I guess, uh, I shouldn't call you, uh, that now that you're certified, but, um, I don't think it'll stop me. Ah, 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 boah ha ha. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, oh, it's the girl again. Hello. I've informed the village of the coming rampage, like you asked. Ah, yes, thank you. Nope, it says the oh. elder. Oh, yes, thank you. Sorry. By the way, old K-Wing, I overheard the good news. You finally an official hunter? Wow, congratulations. Yep. All you need now is to register with the guild so you can start accepting all those quests. To do that, you need to speak with the Master Hojo in the Gathering Hub. But, first. but that can wait. First we go shopping. <laughs> You'll be needing the help of the other villagers if you want to succeed out of the field, so... Words are hard. Follow me! Let's start there. Now, where should we sh start? Aha, of course. The Marketeer of Mystery. Kagero the Merchant. I mean, Kagero. I mean, his name begins with a K. Mm. Moving around. Use the joystick to move. Hold R to dash. Hello, Elder. Yep, as a hunter, the goods you can purchase will be a little different. Eh. Armor, items, and of course, a hearty pre-hunt meal. Anyway, ask uh, Hinoue to uh, tell you all about it. Take care. I will decide on my own, thank you very much. Hello. Yeah. Ah, the weather's nice today. Okay, I don't care about that. Hello, market person. Old man K-Wing has something. Okay. Stop. Nope. Mark it. How may I help? Greetings, Master Old K-Wing. I was just informed that you have been accepted into the guild. Here you will find restorative cures and other such items to aid you on your hunts. I often diversify, diversify my stock and provide special offers for hunters too. I think you'll find them most agreeable. Ah... Uh, Kagero sometimes offers items at half price, and that's when you can pick up some real bargains. I always hold off on buying what I want until the sale, and when it's on, I swoop in like a ruffian on the trail. Hmm, I have uh, often sensed Lady Hinoue's 
sharp gaze upon my back. Now I know why. Anyway, Kagura, about those items I asked you to set aside for me. Aha, uh -huh, of course. I will have them packaged and sent to you at uh, your convenience. Next. Then that's a wrap. Let's see, where should we go next? Hmm. Ah, Steadfast to Steel, Master Heyman, the blacksmith. I mean, Hamon. It'll be nice to pay him a visit. Whoops. Okay, yes. Going over to the blacksmith. Bye! Hello. What? Huh? What is it? You can see I'm busy here preparing for the rampage. Now, now, Master Hamon. This time, I've come to tell you the good news. Old K-Wing has been accepted into the Hunter's Guild, even though he's old. The village now has a resident hunter we can all count on. Isn't that great? Huh. I see. Well then, old K-Wing. Allow me to congratulate you. Uh, the equipment we forge here is what makes a hunter. In part, uh, I, it will make or break your hunt. Yeah. It's what represents our village, too. A hunter who can't wield steel isn't fit to fly the banner of our village. Uh, you'll find whatever you need here. As for crafting and refining gear, well, we can talk about that later. Oh, since we're here, that reminds me. You can hire buddies at the Buddy Plaza up ahead. And Master Hamon's grandson, Lori, manages the place. Why don't you go talk to him later? Huh. Uh, Caspering uh, around with felines and canines makes me wonder where I went wrong. Really? I think buddy handling is quite a noble profession, personally. Anyway, Master Hamon, I was wondering if my order was ready yet. Ma, huh? it is. One of my apprentices will deliver it to you later. Okay, just one more stop, and we're done. Let's see. Sweeter than sweet dango. It's gotta be Yamogi, the chief's tea shop. Wow. Okay, so uh, displayed at the bottom of your screen, performing wire dashes and skill bind attacks will deplete this gauge. Whoops. Yes, end tutorial. Okay, let's go. Yay, I like this little village. This is pretty cool. Welcome! Hey. Old K-Wing, cute. Yep, definitely. Oops. Oh, oh, old K-Wing! Sorry, maybe I should make every character so... Hey, I heard the good news. You're a certified hunter now. Recognized by the guild and everything. Congrats. Before you head out on a hunt, make sure you stop by and eat some bunny dango. Uh -huh. You'll never taste anything yummier in your life. And they'll get your juices flowing for a hunt. Sure. Yamogi's bunny dango really are yummy. So yummy, in fact, I can't stop eating them on the jaw. Oh, just thinking about them gets me all excited and... Ahem! <clears throat> Yo, Mogi! The usual, please, and thank you. Of course! You know what? One super duper mega dango order! Coming right up! Thank Old Kiwing and I had a great time on our shopping trip. Thanks for accompanying me. Hmm. I had the things I ordered from Master Hamon and Kagero delivered to your item box. I mean, Kagero. Surprise! It's just a little something for me to celebrate you becoming a hunter. Come back when you're done with your registration thingy, okay? Huh? What about the bunny dango? Sorry, those are mine. I'd share, but a girl's gotta eat. <laughs> hey, you should equip a weapon already. I want to see what you look like in your full hunter getup. Great think? idea. How about you try on that long sword I just got ya? A long sword? Oh dear. So cool. Uh that's a chef. Oh, okay. So cool! That gear really suits you, old K Wing. Yeah. That's um, the other girl. You must feel a ton braver now, right? Ride that high over to the gathering hub and get yourself registered as a hunter. So when it says quest maiden, that's the regular one. The chef is the higher pitch girl. Thank you. Once you talk to Master Hojo and get registered, you can start going out on a real life hunt as a real life hunter of Kamara, 
Exciting! I have to wait here for my order, so off you go! I'll be in my usual spot. Come see me when you're done. Come on. Okay. Well, so she just ditched you to get some food. Well, she's hungry, so I mean it makes sense. I'm right. hungry too right now, but I won't ditch you to get food. Uh oh, Simon's is following you. Simon Pure. <laughs> Simon Pure <laughs> and the cat. Who are you gonna pay more attention to, Luke, the cat or Simon? Zelda's so adorable. Wait, where does Zelda go? Zelda's dressed like a little ninja. Ninja Zelda. Shinobi Zelda. Oh, there's a little shrine with a fish on it. This is so cool. Oh, I can't yep. go down there. I like seeing the villages and stuff. Hello. Oh, old K-Wing. Need something? Actually, mind if we do this later? I have a shipment coming in that I need to take care of. Okay, bye now. Run fast. Oh, I can't run fast right now. Or can I? Yes, I can. Whee! Zelda learned Shadow Clone Jitsu 1. Sorry, guys. I was trying to respond to, s to something in the chat, but I really can't deal with anything, so we're just checking out the game. I'll have to deal with anything later. Yeah. Great to see you guys. Um, Hey, Earl the Turtle, said why, Nicholas... Simon, Leon, hello, um, Sons of Gaming, hey, Charles the Green Dragon, hi, Chad, Akarui, Ruben, and Bat Feline, JR Zoo, and Cami, I think Cami was here, and Princess Emmy, and, um, everyone hanging out here, hey, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dude and Fernando, great to see you guys, and hope everyone's having a fantastic day, hey, Jackson, hello, all. Ooh, I like the music. Told you he cares more for the cat, lol. Yeah, Simon, you're doing all the you're gonna do all the heavy lifting in this. And Luke is gonna sit there. Now you know how I feel, Simon. It's like I sit here and I cook all day for Luke, and then he's like sitting here petting the cat, like, good girl, good girl, and I'm just like, Oh my gosh, you're paying more attention to the cat than me. Oops. Charles says, hello everyone. Great to see you, Charles. Hope you're having a great day. Charles the Green Dragon? Yeah. Oh, wow. What up, Charles? Can I go here? And hello, Sons of Gaming and everybody. This looks important. Oh. Hello. Oh, there's a little restaurant by a cat. <laughs> Luke, you're already making Simon sad. Ninjas! Making Simon sad. This is cat envy. Master Hojo. Oh. 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 Well, hello there, old K-Wing. You sure took forever to get here. I thought I was going to croak. Ha, ha. You are probably well aware that I, Hojo, the guildmaster of this exceptional gathering hub... What's that? Your guild registration? Oh, yes, well, I was getting to it before you interrupted me. Uh, had you let me finish, I would have told you that you no longer have to do things that way. Get with it, young hunter. Ho, ho, ho. No tests to take papers, stamps. Just my okay, and you're on your way. And with that, you are now officially a hunter. And not just any hunter, no! You're a hunter of our village! Accept a quest from our dearest, uh, Minuto, and go hunt some monsters. Wow, that was easy. Um, about that, as much as I'd like to, I have to get this report about the rampage ready for the guild. I'm terribly sorry, but could you talk to Hinoa first so she can explain quests to you? Yo, Ace! I mean... Ah, him. I overheard the gnarly news. Awesome! <laughs> Before you run off to see Hinoue, pop over here for a sec, okay? Gotta check you out in your new threads. Okay, so we're going over <laughs> to meet this guy now. This music is kind of calming. A little bit. If it isn't Kimura's brightest flame. Wow, looking good, Ace. Grats on becoming a hunter. All that work finally paid off. I'm really happy for you. Oh, and before I forget, I gotta tell you about the action bar. 
The action bar lets you pull off all sorts of actions with opening any menus without it. It's pretty gnarly if you ask me. Let's try it. Check the camera from the action bar and snap a picture of me. Once you take my picture, let me see it. Uh, okay. Pictures can be taken using the camera from the action bar or the custom radial menu. Snap photos will be saved in both the album and the hunter's notes and the album on the home menu. The save feature can be changed in options. Uh, pictures focused on monsters or endemic life are automatically classified into the album located in your hunter's notes. Pressing up on the L stick while aiming with the camera lets you switch between two perspectives, character view and cohoot view. Uh, the picture will be taken from your point of view, recommended for making the subject bigger or for framing a more creative composition. Ooh, more photos. It's like Pokemon Snap except <laughs> Monster Hunter Snap. Monster Hunter Snap. You can get your you can have your pet take a picture for you. Pose sets from gestures can also be selected from your menu in the Kahoot view. During multiplayer, the Kahoot, ah, Kahoots will be visible to other players, giving you a general idea of the camera's position and visible. Uh, okay. Um, select camera. Did I not do it? Action bar. Okay, where's the camera? Camera! Whoa! Interesting. Well, how do I zoom out? Oh, I just walk. Oh, I, I get it. I'm first person mode. Whoa! Okay, dog, get away. Simons, you're in the picture. Get out of the picture, Simons. Luke, why are you making Simons leave the picture? Simons, get out of the picture. His tail. He wants to be seen. No. He says he exists. How are you doing? Dogs are people hey, too. Hey, the tail! <laughs> oh, he got his tail in at the end. <laughs> Good job, Simons. Hey, that's one handsome looking dude. Huh, now that you've gotten acquainted with the action bar, I think it's quest time. But you're still not confident in your abilities, you can hit up the training area to sharpen them up. Yeah. It's just a short boat ride from the Buddy Plaza where Lori and the uh, all these furry little friends hang out. You can try your hand at all sorts of weapons and skills there. It's a great place to warm up before the big hunt, yo. All right, quit holding you up, sorry. Anyway, is probably waiting for you, isn't she? Okay. Hunter info. The start menu provides tutorials, basic hints, information, all that jazz, and valuable information. Uh, the info added as the game progresses will be displayed here in your tutorial window and chat log. Display settings on the tutorial window can be changed from the options. The hunter info and the hunter notes found in the start menu contain a variety of helpful information as such an instruction manual outlining basic game information, characteristics of monsters, controls, weapon use. If you are looking for answers, be sure to look there. Okay. Cool. So I like your surfer dude accent. That's cute. Yeah, I mean, that's how the game decided to Fer have them. Fernando says once your puppy saves you from a dragon, then Simon's will be your favorite. No. Not the cat. No. Cats are still your favorite, Luke? Yep. <laughs> but Simon's is going to be doing all the hard, hard work. Wow, it doesn't sound too different than real life. Hey, wow. All right, so where is uh, Hinoe? Cats get all the glory. They tend to, because cats are cute. Oh, she's just kind of hanging out here. Oh, hello. Oh, old Kaling. Already completed your hunter registration? Great. Uh -huh. I retrieved your Kahoot from Elder Fugen earlier. It's so cute. You're going to love it. Kahoots like buddies will help you out during quests. But in their own little way. Cahoot oh, it's an owl! Aww! Cahoots are creatures that are beloved throughout the village. The elder gave you a cahoot to look after as a pet. If you call your cahoot from your action bar, it will come and perch on your arm. Whoa! Neat. If a symbol pops up while you have a cahoot on your arm, push it to have your cahoot take flight. 
Maybe something will happen. Note this feature is unavailable in multiplayer. Oh, okay. Cool. The pet menu can be opened while a Kahoot is perched on your arm. There you can swap out outfits and feed your feathered friend. If you feed your Kahoot, they will greet you once you return from your quest. Once your Kahoot... Uh, wait. No, your Kahoot won't come to greet you in multiplayer. Well, that makes sense. So the Kahoot's only for single player. You can only use the owl in single player is what I'm getting sure. at. Well, how about you give your new feathery friend a name? Well, we name it Birdo. Mm. Sean Connery. Mm. Mr. Owl. Dr. Fate. Mm. What's a wise name for an owl? Um, <laughs> I don't think that's a good name for your owl, Luke. Uh, What's a good name for your owl? Why don't we call it Killer of Mice? Blathers the Owl, says Chad. Mm. Mr. Owl. That was a hoot. Uh, Leroy says meow. No. Mm. LOL Blathers. Leroy says Crom. No. The crow flies says Mr. Feathersworth. Fernando says Owl Connery. Mr. Feathers works. Mr. Feathersworth or Mr. No, Feathers? Mr. Feathers. Ah. Jay says, hear me out. Jay. <laughs> no. Mr. Feather Feathers it is. Mr. Feathers. Yay. Mm. You have to say their name. Ah. Anyway, since my sister is swamped at the moment, I'll go ahead and give you the quest rundown instead. Now that you're a hunter, you'll be in charge of completing the quests that me and Minoto have in our quest list. Some of these quests, called Key Quests, have been uh, specifically posted by the Hunter's Guild. So if you make a point of completing Key Quests, the Hunter's Guild will take note. Oh, and one last thing here. Take this petalace Minoto and I have made. As you may be aware, petalaces are protection charms woven from a local plant called Ascending Spring. <laughs> Pollen carried by spirit birds will enhance the petalace, strengthening your abilities. Treat it with care. Okay. So basically, this is a type of charm bracelet made of a uh, woven sending sprigs. I don't know. In uh, the village, they are typically worn by hunters like any other piece of gear or armor. You can only equip one at a time. Uh, the petalaces absorb the frag, fragment, fragrant pollen from the spirit bird things you encounter during your quest, granting you special status boosts you can switch out the pet laces from the item boxes manage equipment option try out different types to see which one best suits your style seek out the different bird things note pet laces can also be switched out from the tents item boxes wow there's a lot of info in this oh i think Minoto should be wrapping up her report right about now and I need to get back to work myself. Once you're ready, you can start taking quests from either of us. Hold on. You can't go prancing off before my introduction. Oh, sorry. That's somebody else. It's a cat. It's a cat. Oh, old Kiwi Meow. Oh, and grits on becoming a hunter, Neon. If you ever find yourself taking a hub quest, then I send me the mailman. Have quite the important information for Yan Yan. You'll go need to go through me to meet up with fellow hunters, Nia. Make sure to stop by. Haha, <laughs> well, I think that about wraps everything up, Yan. Time to start monster hunting. Okay. Downloadable add on content. Uh not right now. Okay, so I'm supposed to talk to you? It's very important, yeah. Meow there, old 
Okay, Rang. Been waiting on ya. Got some info. That's vital, no crucial, no paramental, Nyan. Huh, were you just about to hit up the gathering hub so you can get a hunting party together? Nyan? Yeah, about that. I've got some bad news for you. You see, when the rampage is near, it's forbidden fur hunters to leave Kimura. Wow! And outside, hunters won't be able to enter either. In other words, Kamora is offline, Nyan. But if you want to form a party, Nyan, I have a special type of message I can send to get hunters to hightail it here. Ah, if I send the message, Kamora will be online and hunters will be able to enter, Nyan. Just don't ask me how it works. I couldn't understand it myself. Something to do with spiderweb, Neon. Any Mew, come to me whenever you want. Swap between offline and online, Neon. By the way, did you talk to Minoto about online quest yet, Neon? Did you? If you haven't, better get your tail in gear, Neon, so you can go hunting and all your friends. Meow. Oh boy. This is going to be a long series. Uh, I still don't remember where... Oh, no, that's... Yep, okay, okay. You do your thing. That is the village elder. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What is this? Visiting your room in multiplayer will allow you to enter the lobby host room. Some housekeeper functions are not available during multiplayer. Yes, obviously, and not a lot of things are going to be available during multiplayer. While playing in multiplayer, the background music selected by the lobby host via their housekeeper will play in the lobby. If you would like to own background music to play, you can change this from the lobby background setting. Don't care. So this is my house. Nice digs. Leaving. Past load times. I'm impressed. Okay, so... I noticed when you were talking to the cat for a long time, a Simon's just run. left. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here. Well, hello there, old K-Wing. Ready to get into some more quests? Well, if you have great timing because a quest just came in for sure. you. Master Itsushi has called for you. Looks like it's time for some basic training. He was so pumped up about being a real instructor. He kept going on and on about being ready to thrash. Sure. And it seems like Elder Fugen may have had a hand in it as well. Although I was told to keep that part a secret. <laughs> and I didn't. I suspect they've been racking up their brains to think of a way to help your hunting career. How sweet. I've added Utsushi's request to the quest list. Accept it whenever you're ready, but make sure you are ready first, okay? When you're ready, just head through the quest gate to begin. Now let's dive into the quest list. Make sure to check the special quest. Uh, as well. Talk to one of the twins in each of the village or gathering hub to accept a quest. To join hub posted by other hunters. Use the quest board. Once you've accepted a quest, you can either press R, stick down, or accept another quest to cancel your current one. When accepting a hub quest, select a accept via join request to allow hunters and other lobbies to join your quest while in progress. This is disabled for village quests and during local play. Press the R after accepting a request or A at the quest gate to depart. If you're hunting in a party with others, Make sure everyone is prepped for the hunt before setting off. Okay, urgent quest. There we go. Back to basics. Yes. Don't forget to eat. Don't forget to eat. That's good life advice. Hmm. Are no. they trying to tell you about that? To do, don't forget to eat in real life or in the game, Luke? Uh, both probably. Now where... So how was the beef stroganoff heated up the second time? It was very good, Amber. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, don't do that. It's gonna make me tired. 
Victorian. All right, where is the cat's restaurant? There I we go. Wanna, Luke, don't you wish you could go to a cat's restaurant in real life? No. And see little furry creatures making the food in the background? No, it'd be a health hazard. Really, you think the fur might get in the food? Mm-hmm. Eat a meal. Oh, order Bunny Dango at the tea shop to gain extra health and stamina, and even activate activate Dango skills if you're lucky. D Dango effects will wear off once you complete a quest. Return to Kamura. You you can eat while you're in your tent as well, which Dango skill is activated as well as its probability of activating differs for each Dango. You can aim for particular effects by making use of the daily dango, which changes with each quest. Pick the right one for the job. Meals include a daily dango cannot be eaten during quests. Are you having problems reading? Yeah, I can't see anything for some reason. Like, everything is completely foggy. That's weird. I literally, all, my, all the words are melding into each other. I've already wiped down my glasses like three times. I can't seem to see anything. Is the stove off? Maybe you're seeing heat waves or something. No, like, I, I can't seem to see anything. Like, my glasses seem foggy. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to eat a meal. Let's do... Uh Oh, I, I get to choose what I want to put on there. There's a dude's face there. Another thing. It's really someone's face? Yeah, it was actually something. Yeah, it kind of does look like hair in somebody's face. Uh, and a little mouth. Uh, wait, is it, are you shaking the couch? Yeah. Also, my arm kind of hurts here. Okay. Yay, cat stuff! Oh, they sing! Yo! Oh, they put a little tea there too. Yeah! Best, best meal ever. Oh my gosh, this looks so great. Oh my gosh, somebody should make a theme park where you have like animated cats serving you things in a restaurant. I think they have animated cats serving things. So. Okay, time to leave. That was so good. They need to. They're making a Nintendo Land. They need to make Capcom Land now. Up oh, to the quest gate. There's a cat carrying a heavy burden. You're gonna help that little cat without noise. Nope. Ooh, I love the loading screens. Oh, it's so pretty. Reminds me of um, Okame a little bit. Mm-hmm. I like the ink style. That's beautiful. Wow. Shrine ruins, sanctuary abandoned, abandoned by the gods. These halls of worship, once so bustling, now home to monsters, stalking and rustling. Hunters beware, not waits, but despair. Wow, you rhymed. Mm. I like the old, like... Yep. Movie. Yo, Ace, what's up? Accepting my quest? Nice! Come on over here and we'll get started. <laughs> okay. Actually, it looked pretty cool. I love the cat song. Cat song was pretty cool. Yo, my favorite Hmm. Congrats again on making Hunter. A whole new life awaits. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes that you're ready to thrash. But let's do a little quest refresher first, cool? Cool. Let's start with our camp here. This is your tent. Here you can change your equipment and weapons you organize your items and stuff. If you want to bail on your current loadout, feel free to switch out in the gear instead. That over there is a supply box. Use it to get useful items and stuff to aid your quest. And everything there is provided by the guild. So feel free to take up whatever you want to use. Oh, and that's it for camp. Let's move on to the next part, okay, bro? I'll meet you down here by the river past the ledge. If you get lost, look up for my icon on your map. 
I won't get lost. It's me. Make sure your inventory is in order before leaving for the hunt. Manage your items with the item box menu. Change the equipment and switch skills. Access the buddy board and eat meals. I already ate a meal, though. Supply box. On each hunt, you can be provided with hunting items stored in the supply box. The supply box is located only at the campsite. Obviously. With the map button uh, to the left stick, check the location of things in the area. Triangles indicate players, current locations, while tent symbols are camps, monsters, buddies, traps, are placed items, as well as severed tails are displayed too. Quest objectives here are also uh, denotated during special quests. I don't know what that means. Um, press L to zoom in on the map and view different things of life, gathering points, and other icon categories specified in the detailed map settings. Note this can't be reconfigured from the game settings. Uh, detailed map from the start menu. The detailed map displays a precise location of endemic life and gathering points and allows you to show or hide items based on the category. You can also toggle the display level of the map. Now, usually, guys, there's not this much um, dialogue in Monster Hunter games. They're trying to make this more um, accessible to people who don't play Monster Hunter. Usually, it's like, uh, here you go. This is your weapon. This is the guy where you can go and, you know, blacksmith. This is the place you can buy food and off you go. This is a lot of exposition because they're trying to appeal to people that have never played Monster Hunter. They're totally changing Monster Hunter to appeal to um, new people. That's the whole point of all of this. Because if you played Monster Hunter, then you know how to use all this stuff. Um, so there you go. Okay. Are you going to... Yeah, he's disappearing now. He did his ninja thing. So the first thing I need to do is go to the supply boxes. Have a great night, Jay. Thank you for coming by. Um, okay. Thank you. The Hunter's Guild will sometimes send helpful items to your supply box. Don't forget to split these uh, with your allies when hunting with a group. Obviously, but the group's not here, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to take this. going to take this. I don't need this. Okay. Now, where is my... Where's my cat guy? Oh, I guess he took him. All right, so we're going to head down and we're going to go meet the sensei. Why not name the owl Sedfire? Get it? It's like Jetfire. Very cute, Sed. Mr. Feathers is fun, though. Pressing A, you can harvest nearby plants, nuts, bugs, mushrooms, bones, pretty much anything. Pressing A uh, near mining outposts will also allow you to mine them. Yeah, this is all basic stuff. If you played Monster Hunter, then you can know all this other stuff so you can craft uh using fusing of two items to make another you can craft items from the start menu or from your item box in your house you can also use the auto craft function to automatically combine materials when you pick them up on your travels uh the crafting list commands lets you choose a recipe from your crafting list and then create that item you can also configure the auto craft settings from the crafting list Alrighty then. And we're heading to where the master is. Booyah! Alright, let's go, dude. Wow, this looks so much better than the demo. Neat. Mm. Greetings, master. Hey, hero. A lot of this should have been voice acted, though. Hey! Because there's just so much for players to digest that it would have been made more sense for to actually to them yeah. to do the voiceover. Let's talk about wire bugs. They're bodacious bugs the most in any hunt. Uh, use them and you'll be able to zip around in pretty much anywhere you want to go. Even on the top of this boulder. Give us a shot. Okay. Alright. Variety of actions can be performed using the extraordinary creature that is the wire bug. Perform rapid aerial maneuvers with wire dash. Whip out weapon-specific gambits with skill bind, or regain your composure with wire fall. Um, an exhausted wire bug gauge will recover over time and can be used again. So that's that gauge right there, guys. Mm -hmm. Create of consumption and time needed to recover. A way for every action capturing the wild wire bug will temporarily increase the gauge by one. The technique commonly used by the hunters. 
Use wire bugs to zip through the air and quickly reach your target. While ZL and X move vertically, press A to move forward and press ZR to move while you're aiming. Wire dashes can be sequenced or initiate wall running if facing a wall. Each weapon has its own unique skill bind using a wire bug as well. This cannot be used if your weapon is sheathed though, so use it to draw your weapon out. ZL, Blade Master, R for Gunner, press X or A. Each weapon type has its own skill, so experimentation is recommended. Yeah, they've added a lot of um, dialogue. A lot of this seems unnecessary, but whatever. Wire dash. There you go. You performed a wire dash facing a wall. Initiate a wall run by pressing L to maneuver during a wall run and hold R to continue running, consuming stamina. You can also wall run while climbing ivy. Just hold R and maneuver. Whoops. Hey, look at that. You're a natural, bruh. Next, let's try buddies. Today I brought my uh, cat and the dog thing. Flash and rumble with me. Huh. They'll be lending you a paw for this type of training. First, try mounting Rumble and my puppy. Uh, the dogs are swift as wind, so if a monster gives you the slip, hop on your barking buddy. All right, I'll be waiting for you up there. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired just from all the dialogue. When accompanied by a dog, you will have access to Let Me Ride, command allowing you for rapid transport with the locals. Hop on your dog, and you'll arrive at your destination in no time. Can you put that away? Or what? What are, what are you doing? Are you just talking to people? or? I do what I always do, Luke. Okay. Uh, there are two ways to ride the dog. Hold A while near one. Uh, issue the let me ride command from your action bar. Try it out. Okay. And these are all the different commands you can use uh, when riding your dog, which you guys can see there. Although if you've played the demo, then you should... Pretty much understand most of the stuff. Recovery items, waystones, and some other items can be used with riding the puppy. While riding, select uh, an, a usable item from your bar and press Y to use it. So what they're telling you is when you're riding on the dog, you have the ability to use items, which actually makes it more ideal for using items on your dog creature because then um, you don't have to, you know, worry about standing still. Like if I wanted to drink a potion right now or use a waystone or something like that. Let's see if it actually lets me use a waystone. Did they give me any? Uh, the waystone should be unlimited. No, they didn't give me one. Um, I guess they'll give me one later, but uh, they want me to try a dash ability. There's my dash. Now I'm faster. Whoops. I didn't want to jump off. You have to hold in the button in order to ride. Um, let's see. You can attack by pressing the X button with your puppy. And you can see it has like a, a kunai in its mouth. Uh, what else does it do? Why? Oh shoot, I don't want to do that. But I just showed you guys I'm using a potion right there. I did not want to use one of those though. But I accidentally already did, so. Oops. Stop using potions! Uh. Stop! Yeah, very cute. Oh, you're riding Simon's the puppy. Very cute. Oh. Um, guys and gals, just so you know, if you're not a mod, please don't shout at people what to do in the stream, because I will time you out for doing that. Please don't do that. It makes the stream uncomfortable for everyone to chat. Everyone's having a nice time, so just let's keep it that way. So there you go, guys. I just showed you once again. So using the waystone. While you're on your dog, you're not stopped, so you could, if there was an attack from a monster or whatever, you can hop on the dog, and uh, you can do this. Like, actually use items, which is very helpful. Alright, let's go see the master now. Attention, please. I'm not lost! I'm trying to find where you are. Hey, there. check it out, this yellow spin bird thing! If you touch one, its pollen will enhance you. Good luck charm when you're wearing uh, your petal lace thing. Mm -hmm. When that happens, the scent of the pollen surrounds you and boosts your stats. It's radical. Since then, uh, I'll let you touch this little guy and increase your stamina. 
Because that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you. Also, uh, you can use these weird butterfly, like, slash dragonfly things over there. Uh, these different creatures you'll come across in the field, they'll give you different stuff. The powder floaty friends will uh, spread and boost your defense. Pretty cool, right? I know. Hey, look around you. There's other epidemic life and stuff. They all do different uh -huh. things. But I'm not going to explain it all to you because that would be pointless. So there you go. It's telling you different things about your buddies, life forms, all that other stuff. Um, you just walk up to them and then they give you stuff. Boom. So just to demonstrate. Oh, look at that. Now I have all this other stuff. Very cool. But I don't know how to turn off this stuff. Hunt and you have little bug wings too. Very cute. I didn't want this hunter stuff. Go away. How do I make this go away? Looking forward to hunting. Nice to meet you. Nice to Old meet man you. K wing. That was fun. No, I don't want that. Nice to meet you. No. That was fun. Looking forward to hunting with you. Nice to meet you. Looking forward to hunting with you. Attention, please. I'm looking at my map. Yeah. Guys and girls, if somebody makes a comment to me and I didn't see it and it's a joke in the chat. And then I didn't see it, and then a little bit, they wait a little bit and write it one more time. That's not spam, just so you guys know. Like, I've actually told people, please say it again if I didn't see it. So that's completely fine. Okay, I don't like how all these things are popping up now. I don't know how to turn that stuff off, actually. I accidentally turned this on. Um, maybe the point? Wave? No. I guess that little bar thing is just going to be there no matter what. All right, let's go see the master again. So how did your puppy change yellow anyway? It's not my puppy. It's the master's puppy. I'm borrowing him. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, please try to, you know, be calm so I can actually focus on the game. Thanks. <laughs> hey, right on, Ace. Get the hang of riding the dog already? Sweet. They're super helpful buddies, especially when you need to cover a lot of ground. And you can even tell them to attack while you're riding them. It's way radical. But their attacks won't be as strong as yours, just so you know. So when you're ready to get down to business, it's best to dismount. Oh, looks like we got ourselves some monsters nearby. How is your health and stamina looking? Be sure to keep tabs on your status while out in the field, okay? And when you're ready, let's head up this way. It's time to really get the show on the road. Finally! Yay, finally getting the show on the road. The green bar is your health. Any Monster Hunter fan knows that. Yellow bars are stamina. Duh. Uh, coming in contact with the different birds during your quest will increase your maximum health and stamina. Vic says, I am waiting for Luke to get eaten by the monster. Wow, Vic. Mean, Vic. Mm. Hey, hey, gnarly. A pack of whatever, Uzukis. All right, let's... Take them down. Right. Don't hold back just because they're small. They can be skillful and ruthless. <clears throat> Dang it. Just remember your training and you'll be golden. Are you going to tell me every little thing, guy? The whole aspect of Monster Hunter, if you guys didn't know before, whatever Capcom decided to do with this game is they didn't really tell you a lot of things. They just went, let you go out in the field and fight stuff. Two or three minutes left, says Charles, Cammy, and Ruben until it actually comes out. Very cool. Sweet. Awesome job there, Ace. Oh, and don't forget to carve to harvest materials from the monsters. They can be used for upgrades at the smithy and stuff. Then you're done carving. Come see me. My gosh, dude. For a ninja, you are super chatty. Just letting you know. Okay, I don't know how I accidentally turned on that menu, but that's going to be annoying. Um, it's basically telling me everything that I'm doing. It's like, yes, I know I carved something. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. Thank oh, you. Oh, you're starting with the little tiny dinosaurs. Yeah, they make you start with the tiny dinosaurs, and then the big dinosaur comes. Old Man k -Wing's imaginary weapon. Come here, puppy. Let's go see your master. Ooh. See, there we go. Putting into practice what they said. Yeah. Talking, or touching the wildlife gives you different um, stat boosts, more or less. And thanks so much uh, for helping us out in the chat, Simons and Earl and um, Vic. 
Great to see you guys, and great to see everyone in the chat. Good job. Wait. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I know, you don't have to radar my map thing. Just as expected from my star pupil, that was an incredible hunt. If there's something you think you could have done better, don't worry. After all, you're just getting started. Now then, let's head back to camp. It looks like we're kind of far away from it, though, right? No big deal. You can use fast travel, and you'll be able to camp out in no time. I'm going to go ahead. See you there, bro. And I can fast travel by hitting the map and holding A. Oh, look at how cute the map looks, Luke. Yep. There we go. That's fast travel. Ninja vanish. Look at that. Superhero landing. Congratulations. You completed the basic training quest. I'm now proud to send you out to field as a full-fledged hunter. You learned well, but keep in mind, the Elder Fujin and I expect much of you. If you ever feel like going over your basic training again, all you need to do is accept this quest from Hinoe. I'd be happy to guide you through it again, though. No. Returning to the village. Yeah, that's the only downside is I wish they actually voice acted that part because it's a lot easier to, to learn when people are talking to you than when they're just like bombarded you with like all this text to read. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! So kawaii! Puppy time! That wasn't my puppy though. Puppy love! Puppy happy time. But I understand they're trying to make this accessible to like new players, but for people who played Monster Hunter, it's kind of annoying to be reminded with the basics like all the time. Da 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 da. Hmm, well, K Wing, I see that the master's little quest was no match for you, ha! Huh? I expect nothing less. What you learned today is very essence of hunting. Whether you hunt, the hunt takes you. Uh, those lessons I'll always hold dear. Now, Hinoe should have some one-star quest ready for you. Well, get to it and happy hunting. All right, so I'm going to do at least one star quest. I should be allowed to. All right, Amber. Hey, and welcome back. How did everything go with Master Atushi's quest? I know, I know. The basics are, well, basic. But you gotta have a sturdy foundation before you can build, right? Take Bunny Dango, for example. Yamogi puts as much effort into selecting ingredients as she does preparing them. Haha! <laughs> anyway, I know you're not here to talk, Dango. You're here to take quests, and lucky for you, I've got some one-star quests ready to go. You know, questing is kind of like climbing a mountain. Keep completing them, and before you know it, you'll be at the top. And just like a mountain, there's more than one way to the top. Pick the quests right for you and forge your own path. But you're going to stay right here and listen to me blabber about Bunny Dongo if you don't hurry up and pick a quest, haha. <laughs> okay. As you complete quests from the village and gathering hub, the Hunter's Guild will permit you to take on more and more quests. A quest difficulty is indicated by star icons. The more stars, the harder it is. Well, yeah. Upon completing a certain number of key quests, which are carefully selected by the Hunter's Guild, you will be eligible to take on very important urgent quests. Completing urgent quests will unlock the next quest level. You'll find that some villagers have special quests or specific quests that they'd like you to complete for them. So do talk about anyone you see with a yellow speech bubble above their heads. Anything they ask you will be listed as a quest on the village or gathering hubs uh, counter. These are special quests in which you can learn hunting fundamentals and techniques such as wyvern riding. They can be accepted from the village quest counter at any time. Okay. So pretty much what they're... I'll, I'll explain the basics to you guys if you didn't understand, like, any of that. So you have one-star quests, uh, which are, you know, really basic uh, enemies to fight. Urgent quests sometimes are needed to progress the game's, like, story. Um, and then you have expedition tours where you can go and uh, explore to your heart's content. 
You can end up fighting or trapping monsters, you can pick up raw materials, you don't have to worry about progressing the story, and it gets you more uh, familiar with the game's combat. There's also arenas and things like that that I'm surprised they haven't announced yet, but there are, are usually arenas where you can go and practice fighting monsters as well as uh, learn other special skills. So um, this basically tells you when you're out on expeditions, uh, there are different monsters that'll pop up, so, you know, you can uh, farm for different gear so you can make cool stuff or make your swords better or whatever weapon you decide to use. So that's all that is. Um, but we're not doing a, a tour right now. So we're going to do one star quest and we're going to hunt uh, this monster. Um, oh, I guess they won't even let us do that. Yeah, this one. Good luck. Thank you. On our way now. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. I have to go the opposite way. So I'm hoping we'll get to hunt at least one big monster tonight. Even if it's a basic big monster, that's all I care about. But one thing that I find very impressive about this game is the loading times are very fast for, you know, usually Nintendo um, Monster Hunter games have incredibly long load times. Um, it's always yeah. been the case, even going back to the Wii when Monster Hunter Tri was around. That was my first Monster Hunter game that I played on a Nintendo system. I had played Monster Hunter before on PS2, but I was really impressed to see it come out on the Wii when it did. And the game wasn't too bad. The online was a little buggy, but overall I thought the experience was pretty fun. Okay, upon initially visiting a new location, your map area will be obscured by fog. Basically, they're talking about the fog of war. Um, there are unknown monsters, monsters that you'll never hunted before, indicated with a generic icon on your map. However, once you come in contact with a monster, the icon is replaced by the monster's unique icon, and your Kahoot will mark it on your map for you. From that point on, the unique icon will be displayed on your map from the start of the quest. I guess that's so it makes it easier to track the monsters in this one. Whereas in previous games, you would literally have to mark... Uh, the monster with like a paintball or something like that. So your little owl friend tends to do a lot for you, I guess. So one thing that we didn't go over uh, last time, and I'm gonna... Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Um, make sure you hold the L button to cycle through your stuff. You don't want to accidentally drink a potion like I did. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a ration to build up our stamina, which they did not teach you in the basics. So here we go. You can see our stamina is going up. Oh, wow. I mean, that's just Monster Hunter basic. Yeah, so. just me basic. And I want to have You got your little whetstone there. You got your stamina, your health. Potions, yep. Which part is the stamina again? The... The yellow one. The yellow one. Oh, yeah. Underneath the green is always stamina. Green, green is health. Yeah. Yep. All right, so this is my dog. This is Simon the Pure. <laughs> Weird. Oh, my goodness. And this quest, all we have to do is just slay five, uh, whatever. Now, while you're out and about, even on a small quest like this, you can run into other monsters that are going to be dangerous. So you never know. Is that a dead monster? Oh, it's a sleeping monster. And like I said before, you can actually attack on your uh, steed if you want to. You can you can get up now. There we go, attacking the monster. Oh, you can also get attacked from uh, things nearby if you're not careful. B button is how you roll, how you evade monsters. Uh, there is no Z targeting as far as I know. They never wanted to add Z targeting because they wanted people to get used to combat. But they have speeded the game up tremendously over the years, so this game so much easier to play. Control feel great. All right, I'm gonna put my sword away and just gut this fool. Oh! It also shows your quest information on the side, so we have to hunt eight of these basically yellow monsters. Okay. So that's pretty much. And we might run into a big monster. And if we run into a big monster, I may try to fight it just because I want to. So everyone in your chat right now is saying that they are trying to restart their system to 
have the game downloaded. It's supposed to be downloaded at midnight or something. It's not downloading for them. Hmm. But I don't know. Maybe you'll have to wait another half hour or something. I mean, it all depends what Capcom did. This is an early access look, so our our version came from the developer. It's not a lock to the midnight or 10 in the morning thing. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. There's something here. There's something here. And that is what my voice is like. <laughs> So this game looks really cool so far. I I can't wait to see what the other code was because then we'll be able to um, yeah play it together. So are we doing the contest for this video or no? We already did it. Okay. But and if people uh, had to put in their comment in the comment section. Yeah, or? I will. I'll tell people again. So uh, we're doing a giveaway for this game, guys. We're going to be giving away a copy sometime in April. Um, since we're at a new network now, we get paid at the end of the month now. Um, so, I mean, things going to be really interesting. Um, but anyway, in order to enter our contest for this game, which would be a digital copy, by the way, all you have to do is uh, be a subscriber or subscribe to K-Wing's Let's Play's channel. That's this one. Like this video, share this video, and leave a comment down below what your favorite Monster Hunter game is, and you'll be entered to win. And then we will have a live stream announcing the winner or selecting the winner. So that's awesome. all you need to know. Boom, 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 boom. Thanks, pretty cut honey. and dry. Mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty simple. Uh, da, da, Jackson da, says, da, I da, might da, 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 have to uh, join that contest. Yep, definitely. There you go. I mean, anybody's free to join. Um, the reason why... We do contests mostly for Switch and uh, PlayStation is because the games that release in America, even people overseas, you know, if you win, you can still get the game um, because it's not region locked. So then you just have to make sure you create like a American account um, and boom, you're good to go. Yep. Because non-region. Yay. Yeah, and, and I know many of you that have European accounts, uh, I mean, that are European, you have uh, North American accounts to play North American games, so um, just, yep. just remember that it is a North American game that we're doing a giveaway for. I just kicked a lizard, and it pooped. Okay, then. Wow. Well, if you have to go Earl the Turtle, thank you so much for uh, helping out on the stream. I appreciate it. And, and just so you guys know, like, our mods, our admins that we have, like, um, I'm sure they just love to sit here and watch the game and not have to worry about the chat, but they do it out of the goodness of their heart so that we can actually concentrate on the game. So, um, you know, even if you guys disagree with them or you feel like maybe they shouldn't have done a certain thing, like, please just respect them. Like, they can tell you what to do in the chat because... Somebody has to, cause, so we can just concentrate on the game. So, just always please respect them, because they help us out so much, so we're able to stream. Thank you guys so much. Right. I hope I actually get to play some of these monsters. So, uh, the cool thing about playing solo is you can see both the cat and the um, dog thing are actually fighting alongside us. This was actually not part of our quest, but, I mean... You got to start farming to put together new gear anyway, so it's always good to make sure when you, you know, take down a monster of any type that you've got it because you're going to need to uh, have some stuff anyway. So. I am paying attention to my stamina. Can you leave me alone? I'm doing fine. Don't don't be like one of those like annoying ninja Karens. <laughs> ninja Karen. I just, I feel like the, 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 the Karen term is overused for, like, when you were talking about being an old guy in one of our episodes and demanding a senior's discount, people were like, you'll be an old Karen. It's like, not really, though, because when you're old, you're not really a Karen. You just... You're just old. You're just old. You're not a Karen. A Karen is somebody that is kind of, like, obnoxious, and when you're old, you're not really obnoxious. You're cute and old and wrinkly. You've done your time as <laughs> as a normal person. As an old person, you 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 are. You've earned what you've earned yeah. your right to demand things. You you get your Sunday. <laughs> you get your brownie with your sandwich. <laughs> Go get them. You would know since your character has gray hair in think, this game. Think about becoming an old person as a way of like you you have gained so much experience in the RPG 
that like you've been playing the game of life so long that you are just given a discount for just ice for cream sundays there. just for living just for <laughs> just for managing to like, live 50 or 60 like, years congratulations you made it to level 999 the like part. in the game the only problem so with, an ice cream with, the, with the getting old though is like so many old people have like diabetes and other problems so when they're rewarding them with sugar it just seems like it's kind of a an oops yeah, but the sugar-free stuff is even worse for you. Yeah. I, I'm i going to eat sugar when I'm old because the sugar-free stuff, I don't know what that stuff made out of. I would stay away from aspartame. That's that's just not good. I, I'd rather just have sugar. Honestly, you know what the greatest solution is? Honey. So that you, honey or fruit, honestly. Yeah. Oh, speaking of fruit. Is our, we have two fruit Is cups. our fruit still good? It should be. Look, I got you two fruit cups so you can have one... Okay. I'd one day and I'd one like, another day. I'd like to have one fruit cup before I go to bed. I think. All right. So this you is an abandoned of, ninja village. You kind of sound like you're old. You're like, I'm gonna have a fruit cup. Before I'm I go gonna to have bed. a fruit cup <laughs> after I play Monster Hunter. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm excited. Why do you keep calling yourself old and then putting yourself gray hair on yourself? I liked how he looked. He looked great. His parents named him old as a joke, so he just, you know, grew up old. It's not his fault. Yeah, I was just thinking of something, da, but I da, don't da, know if da, I could da, talk da, about da, it. Da. Somebody that called somebody old. Ugh. Oh my gosh. What the heck I'll are those tell, things? I'll have to tell you a story. It has to do with my family, but maybe I'll tell you off, but off camera. Well, fine. I won't say who it is, but I know somebody... That is a like, fat raccoon! Whose nickname for their husband was Little Old One or something. When they got married, it was like, oh my gosh. Why would you call your husband old, like when you when they're like thirty? That's an interesting pet name. Hey, come back here! I'm not done killing you. Yep. I even even if my husband did look really old, I wouldn't tell him. I would always say he looks young. Well, I mean, for you, you do look. Careful so young. where you're going with this. <laughs> oh, the badgers will look freaky, honestly. I don't think it's a badger. Oh. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think I killed it. Yeah, he's gone. I'm gonna carve you up. Here comes the mess, oh, another thing that they did really annoying in the demo um, is they actually have the characters talk. Like the uh, your your hunters will say like weird one-liners and stuff now. Whereas before you said the one-liners and they were done tastefully. Um, but now it's like your, you know, your character does yeah. weird one-liners. It, yeah, mm -hmm. that is cool. Yeah, there was a lot of dialogue. I mean, so far this game is one of the prettiest Monster Hunter games I've seen. Oh, there we go. That is a, a uh, that's a boss. Looks like a peacock. Great wire bugs are an endemic life form that will carry you over the distance in a set direction. Each locale has a number of jewel lilies when you can place great wire bugs that you've received in the village. You can confirm how many great wire bugs you have in your item pouch. If you do not have any great wire bugs, you cannot travel from jewel lilies. Some jewel lilies, however, will have wire bugs in them from the start. Don't care fighting this thing. Ooh. Oh Sorry. no, the egg quests are back? No! no. <laughs> I don't like the egg quests. I'm really excited to see, like, um, some, you know, Japanese or Chinese dragons in this. I guess it's supposed to be Jap Japanese oriented, this game. Take that to the supply box. Uh. You have to carry it all the way to the supply box. I didn't want to do this. And egg how, quest. Luke, if you have to drop it to hurt, like a, if you have to if defend you, yourself. If you if you drop if you drop the drop the egg, you always lose the egg quest. Then you have to go all the way back to the beginning and get the egg. Yeah, again. But the eggs are super rare. You're sorry, honey. I, I don't know why this weird pain. You've been taking your BP stuff, so I don't know. Yeah. I think this is the way back. Not really sure. You can't really fast this, travel this, all the way back. This monster in her game is giving me such good vibes. It's really well done. I like, am just... Well, I also... Uh -oh. I love Monster Hunter in general. Yeah. But, like, this is cranking it up to 11. It's like... 
everything about Monster Hunter Plus, they're making it like kind of like with a like, like Naruto. Yeah, Japanese <laughs> like ninja twist on it, and it's like ninja. Oh twist. my gosh! Like this is so cool. It's kind of I mean, it's kind of cool that we've gotten really cool Japanese themed games because we had um, that ninja game or that samurai game, and now we have this one. Just kind of cool. Maybe, maybe there's always Japanese themed games that I'm always missing. Them, but... They don't usually come out stateside. Yeah. But this is, you know, Monster Hunter is international, so I'm going to make sense. Simon's is guarding you. Simon Pure. Oh, no. More of you guys. Um, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> these, so... these egg quests were always funny. So... Um, I always remember with Monster Hunter that one time that you stayed up 13 hours uh, when we were in Boston and that uh, yep. pro Monster Hunter player like was helping you for 13 hours like on quests I remember to basically that. upgrade your character for your series. Yep. And like he just like randomly was like, well, I'm playing anyway, so we might as well just play. So you did like all these missions with him. Yep. I mean, that's really nice that he actually... Because that's one way that we kind of found out that the Monster Hunter community and stuff, even a lot of the pro players, I mean, maybe not all of them, but some of them are really, really nice. I mean, this is compared to other communities of people that may not be as nice. Like, I don't want to mention names. Mm. <laughs> we know other communities of game communities that aren't always the friendliest when you try to get into their community and play their game. But, My yeah. gosh, this is taking a while to get all the way back. I wish, I wish if I could have another lifetime, I would learn to be a Monster Hunter player that basically goes with my, like, very, like, the the, the lamest armor I have. Like, the beginning. Uh-oh. The beginning armor. There's no way this is going to work. This is going to break. This is going to break. Just, it'll be fine. It's going to break. Everything will be fine. Told you. Darn it, it broke. Told you. I said Maybe it was going to break. Maybe we should have gone a different way. There was no other way you could go. Well, how are we supposed to do the egg quest? It wasn't. It was just you picked up a rare egg. Oh. Well, I don't know what we're supposed to do with it. Oops. I guess that wasn't the egg quest. No, I mean, it's not. This, the quest is just to kill, like, some basic things. I was just kind of running around exploring the map. Egg quest. The bane of every monster hunter game. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can't wait for a community uh, hunt, uh, says Chad. Yep, community hunt's gonna happen. You're gonna make community hunts, Luke? Mm-hmm. I is. Yeah! And, um... Yeah. Hey, where do you think you're going? There we go. That was all the objective was, see? Whee! You did it! All you had to do was actually slay them. It didn't even say, like... No, oh, get off, you fool! It's getting dull. You almost hurt your puppy. I don't care about my puppy. Go, go, go. The Jagras. Just so you know, Luke, how I'm pronouncing all these names in this game. Mm. I'm just making up the pronunciation myself, just FYI. I have no idea how it's supposed to be pronounced. Oh, okay. Yeah, go Simon! Look at his little puppy claws. Claw slap. Maha. 20 seconds remain. What? I missed. Old man K wing is doing pretty good. All right, let's do a couple more. Amber, you can hide the egg. wait. You hide the eggs and make people take an hour to search for them. Uh, isn't that what Easter's about? <laughs> yeah, Easter egg hunt for Monster Hunter. Totally. Can you change your language to hunter language? Says Graham. Uh, oh, Spider Gay says, just kidding. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so we're back in town. I want to go eat again. Like, where is the fun mm. little cat place? Boo, 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 boo. 
think it's over... No, that's my house. This is a cool game, says Rebecca. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's not it. No, I don't want to have a seat. <clears throat> I feel like this game is dauntless, but with a story mode. Yep. I mean, that's what... Yep, definitely, Galen. I mean, this is what Dauntless was based off of. Mm-hmm. Pay with this order. And go with that weird face. That uh, and this color. The only reason I, I like to play Dauntless more than Monster Hunter is because it's easier. Monster Hunter has a great story, but it's kind of hard. Great white clouds, puffy and light. Like a flock of birds in flight. Sticking together, nice and neat. <laughs> Fluffy bunny, dongo, their tasty treat. Hey! Yeah. Oh, you ate that like a very. <laughs> I had the weird teeth thing on his face. Uh, nope. I took a you picture of that. You didn't give any to your puppy. I don't, I don't care about that. Hang on. I want to make sure I got that picture. There you go. Whoop. Kind of having... Uh, I got make... too many pictures. Yes! There's... Yes! Yes! Puppy yes! Puppy is there. This is going to be the thumbnail, guys. Like, that was just a temporary thumbnail. This is going to be the thumbnail for this episode today. This is great. I love that. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Okay. So weird. I am weird, but Ooh. I get paid to be weird, so it's fine. Yay! All right, let's go accept a quest from What's Her Face again. Hello, 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 hello. Hi there. Funny dongo or a taste of heaven. No expedition quest. Which quest would you like? I would like to do this one, please. Be careful out there. Yep. Can I ride you in town? Oh my gosh, you can ride him in town too! Look at that. Sweet. Okay, he says, I know what I'm gonna name my puppy and kitty. Very cute. Burr, you can ride your puppy in town. Burr, 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 I can't burr, wait till I can burr, play burr. this. Well, I can see what the other code is. Mm. You have your switch over we're there. Gonna, we're going to start a series of this. Uh, this is the first episode right together. now. This is the first episode. Mm, I think it would be too hard to record, like, us playing together. I just have to be on hunts. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's at night. Cool. Well, Oops. I just thought of a series I could do instead of Nino Kuni in the mornings. Monster Hunter? I could have my own Monster Hunter person. Wow. That'd be cool. Or I could do that over on my channel and stuff. Whatever you want to do. But of course, it's only been twice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. So, um, guys, there's no Zelda Minish Cap tomorrow. Second episode of Monster Hunter. And uh, your fifth episode or fourth episode of... um, uh, What was the name of that one? Xenoblade. Oh, yeah, Xenoblade. Xenoblade. Too. It's already Friday, so... We missed. We it was kind of like daylight savings time. We missed. We missed a day and a half of work because of the uh, mm. network fiasco. I mean, it's it's weird because I'm always thinking, okay, we have to get through this many games a year. Like, let's try to get as many games as possible. No. Live streams make it possible to get through games well, much yeah. faster. And then it's just depressing with the new network. It's like, oh, maybe you shouldn't try to get through games anymore. It's like, but that's our entire thing. Uh -huh. Sorry, Raccoon it's buddy. Like I'm just getting used to it. But yeah, like, I don't know. I wish I could do... I really wanted to play Assassin's Creed on my channel twice a week, but maybe I could play Monster Hunter and stuff. I don't know. I can't do too many games at once or I'll bog myself down. Especially if I did get another code of this, I could do Monster Hunter on that channel. Mm -hmm. Whee! The thing is, it's hard with developers and stuff when get several codes but we can only do one series at a time so it's like um i feel bad because it's like oh wait i'm getting to your game they're like oh when are you gonna play this game mm -hmm. i think it was easier with reviews but reviews take like several weeks to make and then it's one video it's like mm -hmm. yep mm -hmm. 
Of course, if they gave a review copy like this, it would take quite some time uh, yeah. with, with how little... Because, I mean, they literally gave it, like, only a day before. Mm -hmm. But it's because so they they know it, they know we're a Let's Play channel, so that's yeah, why they... Yeah, that's why they did it the yeah. day before. It's like, that's why they did it the day before. Because we're going to stream it today. Yep. Basically. Well, that's what they asked of me. They said, can you stream, like, the, the first chapter? It's like, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Except I'm not going to get to all of the first chapter tonight. I'm going to get to most of it. Yeah. Like, I, I hope to hunt, like, one big monster, yes. but I don't think it's going to happen. Well, maybe it will. Yeah. Did I already, uh... Did I already uh, cut you up? No. Here comes the messy part. Here comes the messy part. You. Did you have to say here comes the messy part? Yes, so. Blue mushrooms mixed with something else creates green potion. It's like alchemy, but not turning things to gold. It's science. I'll be yep. taking this. Here comes the messy part. Wow, I'm not used to them talking anymore. Here comes the messy part. <laughs> Let's go, dog. Oh, right. You're right, Luke. They never used to talk when they did that. Nope. Oh, my God. Now I'm reminded that they're doing the messy part. Here comes the messy part. Yeah, I don't like them saying that. I would rather them just be silent about it. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. I mean, everything about this game is great. You're allowed to be critical. It's your first impressions. Okay. Overall, I still I think the of... game's really fun. Oh, the game is great. That's the only thing I don't like is I'm saying here comes the mess. I guess it's supposed to be funny, though. I feel like they had to do that like because Monster Hunter is getting more popular in the United States, so it's like they have oh, to explain. But it's like, what is there really to explain? You're ripping up the animal's guts. And then you're putting it in Here your pouch. It's kind of gross. Fun times. Except, you know... If you're... And then you're using its, like, parts to make, like, your clothes and also meat and stuff. Which, honestly, having frog legs, I know that basically anything that would be lizard-like I don't think would taste very good. I mean, you could eat it, but it would have a weird after aftertaste, I really feel like. I'm gonna stick to mammals. Mm. But not like just animals, not. Yeah. Wow, Amber. Okay, so we're looking for a different type of smaller enemy to fight. There it is. This, These are the guys. So once you kill, um, I think it's eight of these, then the mission's over and it's gonna say, hey, would you like to go battle something else? And be like, yes, please. Yeah, so you have to defeat eight of them. Play eight. Sorry, guys. Wow, just yeet me off you. Why don't you? Oh, great to see everyone in the chat. Hey, our cereal. Hey, Bat Feline. Hey, Jesse. Chad Akaruri. Vic says, great thumbnail choice. Yeah, I like that screenshot. Hey, Mage Wolf, um, Ruben, and Spider Guy Alex, Cami, and Brandon Williams. There we go. RVV Vic, and Sted Y, Mage Wolf, and Fernando. So, hope everyone's night is going great. Frog legs taste like chicken, but more bony. Um... Yeah, I guess they kind of taste. I don't really like them. Hmm. I won't. Nothing personal, buddy. Here comes the messy part. <laughs> you beat an alligator before? Wow, hardcore. Um, spider guy. Wow. You thought it was chicken at first. Oh wow. Oh wow, and then you got mortified and then got over it. Oh, I see. Oh wow. That's cool. You know. Okay. All right, I'll talk about it later. Stink minx. Stink minx excretes a type of pheromone capable of attracting um, monsters. You can lure monsters by first using a stink minx and then approaching a monster. Once they detect the pheromone, they will follow you until the effect wears off. Monsters in a lured state achieved either by enraging them or using a stink minx will go after the player for a limited amount of time. 
You can thus lead the monster, but it may lose track of you when moving to areas where it can no longer pursue or when you're too far away. By luring a monster into the proximity of another monster, you may be able to have them fight together or wrestle over territory. Let them fight. This <laughs> this can result in massive damage between them or even have them go into a mountable state. If you come across a stink mink, use it to lure your target to another monster and watch the mayhem unfold. Whoa. Mm. And there's Amber's favorite, the bear. Listen up. Yeah, um, Spider Guy and other people have eaten interesting things like alligator. Um, one time, uh, I visited with a group this uh, Native American reserve in Minnesota, and we were gonna be fed burgers. But I didn't. I mean, this isn't as cool as alligator, but I didn't realize we were eating buffalo burgers. But it basically just tasted like hamburger to me. But I didn't realize it was actually buffalo. And then after I ate it, I was like, aren't these endangered, though? Like, I don't know. Oh, well. I don't know if I committed a crime by eating that burger, but... Sure did. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, you've eaten badger bad feline? Wow. That's pretty hardcore. I don't even... I don't know how that would taste, but it sounds interesting. Hey, um... Val Valco, how's it going? Hello, Jesse. Thanks so much for the kind words, Jesse. Hey, Graham Quest and um, our cereal and Mythical Wolf. Hello, Tyrese. 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 Sorry, I get people's names wrong. Cammy mm -hmm. was hyped for the cat song time. Oh, yeah. Don't clip that. <laughs> cat song clip. No. No, you're awesome, Jesse. No, you're breathtaking. Not everything needs to be clipped. Um, I should be doing a Mario Kart stream tomorrow. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, you learn to eat a lot more stuff, um, Spider Guy. And yeah, that's awesome. Rebecca said I ate frog legs once. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, you get... Yeah, you get... you get. That's awesome, Spider Guy, that you got used to that. That's cool. You're tougher than me. I, When I was going to cooking school, they tried oh. to feed me some pretty weird stuff, and I didn't always try it. Oh my gosh, what? Everything. The weird fish thing. Let's go kill it. Oh, it's not working. It's a strong fish. Yeah. I don't know if you want to. No. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. just there. Nothing personal, buddy. Okay. All right. So wire bug, and I need to travel. Oh, thank you so much, Val Valco. Oops. Thanks so much for watching. Wait, are you serious? Bad feeling? That's pretty crazy. I cannot imagine eating something like that. I don't even think I can say that because I might freak Luke out. Z Gundam says fish. You had kangaroo jerky, Thunder King? Awesome. Kangaroo what now? Jerky? Mm hmm. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And Bad Feelings said it had some pr thing pretty exotic that don't want to freak anyone out. But that's... If you really did eat that Bad Feeling, that's pretty crazy. I didn't even know they made that as food. Some kind of animal that food doesn't like. That's very cryptic. Whoops. Well, I mean, you're free to read the chat. Yeah. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, fine. There we go. I'll be taking this. Yeah, Luke doesn't really have the chat open. Here comes the messy part. Ugh. A chat says I've eaten things I'm not proud of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do that. 
Okay, so now I'm on a weird subject that I wish I had not started, honestly. Damn fault. It's my fault for talking about what did I talk about frog legs and how dinosaurs would taste. Yep. But at least I found some interesting facts. You guys have eaten some cool stuff. Very cool. I'm actually curious, but at the same time worried how far this will go, so... So, how about Black Adam with, uh, you know, um, Pierce Brosnan? Why are you saying pay attention to my stamina? My stamina's fine. Huh? How about them bears? Uh, there's no bears right now. Oh, there yeah. we go. Luke and I did record a, um, Injustice episode, though. Yep, Injustice video tomorrow at noon. Whoa. I think um, it's, is it tomorrow I should noon? be doing the finale of my my series tomorrow at eight. Advice. And I should be doing a Mario Kart stream around. Well, either you're doing the injustice thing at noon or three. Okay. And I was gonna stream on Twitch after. Oh, it'll be a Mario Kart stream, but look, maybe we can figure out how to. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez, I I'm not awake enough to do that tonight. Okay. Sorry. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do that. What? I'm gonna be just awake enough to. Uh... See, guys, I used to be like a hardcore night owl, but that's because most of my contacts were overseas. Now that I'm. Mm, at a US network again, like I have to talk to them during the day and it's throwing everything off for me. So I mean I'm I'm falling asleep like usually around by two AM now. Which feels so weird. Not a huge fan of that. You didn't get the notification, Nikki? Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Hey. All right, have a great night, Spider oh, Guy. So cute. Yes, take all. I might. Well, That's I'll fine. Just try to stay. No, you don't need to. Night Owl could be a new username for you, Luke. Mm. <laughs> Have a great night, Spider Guy. Thanks so much for hanging out. Have a fantastic night. Mm. Where is. No, you're not right. <laughs> Nikki says, I've eaten things I'm not proud of either. Like one time I made a PB&J, but it had no jelly on it. Here's the quest list. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wait, how many? For moored money. Fire lanterns? It's over eight unique mushrooms. Hmm. No, I think. I'm good. Yeah. No chit chat. Additional subclass. Whoa. Thanks so much for 101 likes. Awesome. Yep, we you guys are great people. Thanks, Simons. Chad says the same. I ate cereal without the milk. Said crying face. Yeah, guys, I see all the gross stuff you guys have eaten. I see a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna, like, shout it out in the comments, though, because it might make this video more gross. But thank you guys for letting me know. Don't forget to eat. I will forget to eat. Just because you told me not to. Oh, actually, I haven't eaten over here yet. Can I eat here? Meow. I, but I want to eat here. Oh, I sit down here. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. 
Thank you. Order the usual. Oh. I don't know. They do have faces on them. Yep. So weird. They gonna sing too? I think I woke you up early. Whoa! Cute. I love when it shows the teeth, it's funny. Yatta! Oh, that would have been a cute thumbnail. You missed it. Oh, where she's jumping up in the air? Yep. Yeah. You're just. You're making Simon's carry you all over the town. That's his job. Mm. I thought his job was to sit there and go fetch and look pretty. Okay. Fine. Mm. Your tired energy is making me tired. I am an owl! Begin quest. Whoa, this looks... No, this is right on the money. This is... You're allowed to do that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake on my part. A little stamina... Little stamina. There we go. All right. So this is a expedition quest, guys and gals. Uh, basically, what this means is I can stay out here for 50 minutes if I want to, explore, uh, gather materials, fight big monsters, and then once the time is done, I just exit. Pretty simple stuff. Yeah, this is a great um, expeditions are really good for like basically farming stuff unless you're gonna farm online with friends um, Farming online like multiplayer is still the most ideal thing you can do but um, playing expedition also teaches you the area So you can get more familiar with it What? Stabby step step Comes the Here comes the bestie part. Hello, puppy. You, you be you. All right, we're just trying to see if we can run into a big monster tonight, because Monster Hunter is all about hunting, you know, big monsters. So, Let's see if there's any out and about, and maybe we'll be able to take one down. Maybe we'll. Never know. Seriously, did you just say it like that? There's something here! Ow! Uncalled for. Why, hello there. Mm, not seeing a big monster. I thought I saw the shadow of one, but no. Nothing here. You make me sad. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude, your voice sounds so weird, man. Oh, there we go! There's a big monster! We're gonna be hunting a bear. Time to boogie with a bear. These are the hunting bases. Woohoo! Yeah! Ow! Yikes. Woohoo! Yeah. 
Ow, oh, why are you gonna be like that, Mr. Bear? Whoa! Boogie with the bear. Whoa. Oh man, come on, I wasn't around there. Uh oh. Oh, they don't give me that fun potion. Chill, Mr. Bear! Thanks so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Move! Ow, come on, man. Yogi's all tired out. Yikes! I missed. Ow! No! Yikes, Mr. Bear. Somebody's a little grumpy. Whoa! Hey, hey! I'm not done with you, bear! You just couldn't bear it anymore. Alright. Shut up, dude! I'm just getting oh, wow, my guy's getting into it. Okay, then. I'm just gonna dismount here if that's cool. Yeah. Dude, seriously, you just walked up right behind me. Whoa! Bear is not having any of this nonsense. Mr. Bear. No point getting all bent out of shape. Bad Yogi. I'm gonna tell Ranger Smith. I think it was Ranger Smith. Don't talk with your mouth full. It's rude. Alright. 
Uh, where's the piece of you that fell off, Mr. Bear? Nobody knows? Hmm. Must have disappeared already. Why would you do that? Don't, 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 don't do that. Time to go, bye! What's up, Yogi? Woo! It's having a rough day. Say goodbye, you mean you missed? Oh! Mega potion, go! Let's go. Dude, you got like trees right through you. Yikes. Help! Get monsters into a monstrous state, mountable state, by attacking them enough with a wire bug, jumping attacks, or skill bind moves, letting them fight each other, or using certain ep uh, whatever. Approach a monster in this state and land a blow or sheath your weapon and press A to start Werven riding. Okay. Wire bug jumping attacks and skill bind moves inflict damage that can put monsters into a mountable state and is therefore displayed as special damage. Now. Ride em, cowboy! Woo! Here we go. In this state which you can control a monster, R for, you know, whatever, A and X for attack, evade with B. You can launch the monster into stuff. Uh, attacking other monsters while the Werven gauge is full. You can do a special move. Yeah, all this stuff is the same from the demo. This is the cool part. Mount the monsters. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. Let's go. Hey! Don't be like that monster. Emergency evade. Okay, launch the monster you've mounted. Press Y. Amazing! You pulled it off! See ya! Boom! Okay, you can wanna do that. That was short lived. Yikes! Help! I didn't want to do that. Ooh! Hey now, let's let's not get mean like that, okay, pal? Whoa! Yeah, it's called the the bear missing. Ooh, he's getting angry. You see how his uh, breathing is getting kind of heavy and labored? That means the monster is getting tired. Yikes. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why you gotta be that, Yogi? Don't be like that. Hey, get back here, fool! Seriously? Let's go. Wait, where did the bear go? Oh, there he is. Oh, it's cute. He's trying to run away. I feel kind of bad. Hello. Down, Mr. Bear goes. Ow. You realize that was a cheap shot, Mr. Bear. I kind of like this weapon, actually. Ow! Ooh! Help me! I think he's eating my face! Oh, I've been poisoned. Yeah. Holy cow, that could have been bad. Ah! Bad monster. Feel kind of bad. Yo, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Ow. Yeah, I saw it. I'm in the middle of fighting though, honey. Love you too. I'm just glad I got to fight one giant monster. Ha! There we go! Nothing personal, buddy. Check it! Bye bye, Mr. Beastie. I think there's a way. Because they changed the temperature, Amber. I mean, it's hot outside. There, you see what I was talking about, guys, with the expedition? That's what happens on an expedition. You can get attacked by uh, bigger monsters. Pretty cool, right? I can eat a meal. Don't want to eat a meal. Now, how do I exit the expedition? Hey, Chad, how do I exit the... Um, 
expedition, though. Do they still let you do that? Oh, complete quest. There we go. Yeah! Yatta! Oh, there we go. There we go, guys. We took down one monster tonight. And uh, I'll be uh, I'll be tackling a lot of the um, random collecting stuff like on my own, and then when it's time to fight a monster, we'll continue for tomorrow. But anyway, people, that's gonna do it for my first look at Monster Hunter. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me see. How do I save? Save. There we go. Very nice. Good times. Cool. Alright, so that's going to do it for the first episode of Monster Hunter. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, part 2 will be tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock. And then uh, Xenoblade will be around 10. So, that's it. That's all. Thanks again to Caps... Ah, words. Thanks again, Capcom, for providing a copy of this game. Uh, you guys rock. Um, I do enjoy... The Monster Hunter series, and I really like Monster Hunter Rise. Like, the demo was really cool, but... I don't know, there seems to be a lot of polish that was done, and improvements to the demo. And the gameplay is just fantastic. I had a blast tonight. And uh, I hope you guys did too. So, I'm gonna make a proper thumbnail for sometime tomorrow, but I'm gonna, I gotta go edit and then get to sleep. So, Monster Hunter Part 2 will be at 8 o'clock tomorrow. And then there is a Xenoblade stream around 10-something, so... Have a good one, people. Check out Monster Hunter Rise, and uh, if you want to hit up our contest, all you have to do is like this video, share this video, leave a comment down below telling us your favorite Monster Hunter game, and also be a subscriber or subscribe to this channel, K-Wings Let's Plays. Alright guys, later!